Collecting art can be a hobby, investment, or just a lifelong passion. And there will soon be a great opportunity for art collectors to buy work from some of Hawaii's best. Joining me now to talk about it is Kelly Sueda, collector and gallery owner. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. Thanks Thank you for, for having me. Thank thanks for, for being here. here. <laughs> Tell us about what the show is all about. Well, the show is really uh, interesting because... Uh, the works that are going to be on display are works uh, from prior collectors. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're works that uh, you, people haven't seen perhaps in decades that were purchased uh, originally uh, a while ago. Um, so it's a really special event. Uh, it's going to feature Hawaiian masters, uh, a lot of work by contemporary masters as well as uh, some of the older masters as well. And what advice would you give to maybe the younger collectors out there who are just starting out doing it maybe just for passion or even as an investment? Right. So for young collectors, you know, I always say, even seasoned collectors, I mm -hmm. just buy what you love. Uh, the common question is, you know, uh, especially for the newer collectors about the confidence in, you know, is it a good piece and, 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 and developing that confidence. And so I said it's, I kind of liken it to, you know, getting dressed in the morning. You have your personal style. If something that you see moves you mm -hmm. or inspires you, it's, it's worth getting. Um, I don't necessarily uh, tell people to buy for investment purposes. I really uh, want people to buy because they, they love what they see. Right, and there is no wrong answer. If you like it, then it, and it works for you. Absolutely. Right? If it works for you and it inspires you and something that you want to see every morning and every day, uh, it's worth every penny. Do you have any advice for collectors out there just starting out or even um, professionals out there who take a look at these pieces, think about the show and think, gosh, I don't know if I can afford it and might be intimidated. Right. You know, that's the great thing about this show is because we really, they really wanted to uh, uh, bring in new collectors. So there's works as low as, uh, below $200. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So it goes up into the couple thousands for pieces, but this is really catered to uh, bring in new collectors, uh, and uh, so the price points are, are, are very low for pieces like Tadashi Sato, Toshiko Takeezu, uh, Satoru Abe's works will be there. Um, so uh, it's, it's, a, it's a great range of, of works and, and pricing. And can anyone go? Anyone can go. It's uh, May 4th and 5th in the evening, uh, Friday, and uh, in the morning on uh, Saturday the 5th. And how long have you had your own gallery and been a collector? Yeah, so I've been a collector ever since uh, I graduated college. Okay. So I started collecting very early. Uh, as an art student, I'd go to a lot of galleries, and I got to see the process and really enjoy the work. I would go to there and be inspired. Uh, my gallery myself, mm -hmm. I've had for, geez, about 15 years now. Right. Yeah. And you'll be there? I'll I will be there as well. Uh, I'll try to get there on Friday and, and, and take a look around. I will uh, love to support, but I really want to encourage other people to buy. Um, as a collector, I kind of want to get everything myself, but, right. but uh, I will restrain myself and, and let other people have a chance to um, pick up some really wonderful pieces. All right, Kelly Sueta, thank you for being here. Thank you so much. So again, the show will be on Friday from 5.30 to 9 and Saturday, and that's not this upcoming weekend, but it's the following weekend, right? Okay, and it's at the Artisan by MW Cafe Gallery. That's at 250 South Hotel Street. The cost is $4 for valet parking, or you can find uh, street parking or self-parking. Thanks again, Kelly, for thank being here. Thank you so much.